Hi friends, welcome back. <laughs> I'm gonna begin by telling you that I have a horrible cold. So excuse my horse voice today. <laughs> Earlier in the afternoon I recorded a video with my phone and uploaded and it, it, the voice sounded okay. I, I couldn't tell I had a cold, but right now I did a little of a test. Oh my god. I sound like a horse. So sorry. <laughs> This month has been brutal, let me tell you that. February, I just wanted to go away. I have been sick three times so far. This time has been the worst. I had a uh, cough and a sore throat and... You know, you get that sensation you get in your chest. Like chest uh, pain and uh, like a really, really, really nasty cold. But anyways, just so you know. <laughs> Um, nothing for this little piece came out the way I had planned, okay? Uh, I had planned a tutorial where I would show you how to add, you know, textures like that, partially. And I wanted to show you a little bit of how I mix my colors, which is very messy by the way, but none of that worked. I mean, the textures, yeah, you can see how I do it. I used a little piece of plastic and I created some dendritic patterns in the foresty part but the color mixing part I started doing it and I realized that I was not recording so yeah so nothing nothing worked the way I had planned uh, I tried to do some textures in the water I don't even want the water oh my god you're gonna see me change the water like 10 times um, I think the only thing that was plan and, and, and work the way it was planned was the sky. The sky is what I like to call the uh, basic sky for beginners where you do clouds you just learn to do a gradient from a darker blue down to a lighter blue and I like adding a little bit of red very little just for to add an interesting touch but everything else I ended up changing. Now I'm gonna tell you this I loved it what happened at the end blew me away I absolutely love the uh, the turn that it took at first I wasn't sure I thought of doing something abstract like um, abstract forest over a cliff and then the windy sea kind of thing but for some reason that didn't come didn't come through it I can make it happen I didn't like it I wasn't happy with it so I kept changing it and then I came up with the idea of instead of having a forest over the cliff of having a flower field over the cliff and I really like that idea and then I started adding some rocks over the water you see all those waves that you, I'm trying to do now forget all of that I didn't that's cool. like I didn't like it I, I thought it looked horrible like it was not meant to be that let's just say that this was a very spontaneous little painting. I didn't plan, I didn't use reference. It was entirely spontaneous and intuitive and it sort of, it did itself. And again, what happened at the end, it was amazing. I think around here is when I decided not to do a forest. Um, and then I went with the flower field over the cliffs and then uh, I came up with the idea of incorporating some rocks in the water and planting some flowers in those rocks you see in reality that's impossible you cannot <laughs> you cannot have a garden or uh, flowers growing in uh, in the rocks in the ocean that's just impossible but that's the beauty of art you can make everything possible so uh, I got really excited when that idea of the ocean garden came to mind and I think it's something that I'm going to be exploring. Um, like I say, I'm, I'm out of practice. I haven't been doing this, uh, what I call the messy painting lately too much. Um, I have been, uh, the approach that I have been taking to art, it's, it's a lot very minimalistic. That's why I don't have a designated studio per se to create art because what I do is very, very minimalistic. I work with um, 
I do work with, you know, conventional art and drawings. And then I incorporate that into silver and gelatin printing, which is black and white photography. And that's more or less what I have been doing for a long time. Uh, so this type of painting, I realize now how much I love it. I'm so happy that I have an excuse now to do it for the YouTube channel because this is so much fun. Um, but I think what I'm going to do next time I set up my dark room, maybe I'll record something very quick to give you guys a sneak peek <laughs> of that. Um, it's... Um, I find it to be very interesting. It's different and uh, again, very minimalistic, but uh, I'm so happy that I have this platform now to have an excuse to paint, you know, to actually paint and get messy. So yeah, you see, I'm changing the water again. I think this is the last time. This is when I gave up and I was like, you know what? I don't want waves. Waves were never meant to be there. <laughs> And I ended up just doing like a little bit of a turquoise um, calm sea and then the rocks and, and that was the, the look that this little piece was calling for. Um, oh, that's when I planted the flowers and the rocks. I really like that idea, that concept of having a guard, an ocean garden. So I'll probably be doing more of on that along the same lines. Um, what else did I do? Oh, I added a moon. That was probably my favorite part, actually. Uh, once I was happy with the elements that I had in the foreground, I decided to add a little bit of depth um, in the background. So I added some more mountains. Oh, am I changing the water again? Yeah, apparently I am changing the water again. So this is not, <laughs> you see, I tried to do more waves. Forget those waves, that's just gonna go. I swear, I think I did that like 10 times. <laughs> is it here? Where, okay, here's where I decided to go with just a calm, you know, beachy type of water. But anyways, I added some cliffs or mountains in the, in the background and then there's like a, like you can see a valley in the background. I think I missed to record a little portion of that, unfortunately. Um, and then the moon, the moon was my favorite part. You know, when it's daylight and you can see the moon during the day, the, the moon looks very faded. And for some reason, that's something that has really, uh, that's, that has always uh, attracted me for painting. The, the moon, that, that is the moon that I like to paint. <laughs> so that's the moon I put in the painting and it added a very interesting, almost, um, What's the word? Not, not, not magical, but... Um, you see, I have brain fog. I forget my words. Mystic. Like a mystic, you know, vibe. You see, I really like that. I really like that, how that came through. And that's why I added the mountains. Just so that the painting had uh, some more depth to it. Uh, I think it uh, worked beautifully. I added some uh, cool tones over there in the mount in the mountains, to so sort of like to a reflection. And then I did a little bit of um, what is that called? Oh my God, I forget everything today. Um, glazing. <laughs> to stop to think about the word glazing is when you uh, do uh, transparent layers over what has dried out underneath I did that in the rocks and I added a little bit of a cool tone to everything um, except the flowers I didn't glaze the flowers I just left them like that I don't know I like the look of it at the end it, uh, it ended up looking very surreal and uh and interesting I, I just it was just interesting i don't know let me know what you think i i really liked it i really like this one and um and if you don't follow me on instagram 
you should go follow me there because usually when I'm recording I post updates there I've been uh, trying to keep up with my social media um, so yeah those textures they're so cool even though what's painting up painted on them has nothing to do with the texture I think that makes it interesting I don't know I was very happy with this one let me know what you think um, not sure what I will be filming next we'll see uh, I just hope to get rid of this stupid cold and maybe take a couple days off to rest <laughs> to my new subscribers like always welcome I am very very happy to have you to all of you guys thank you so so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video <laughs> bye